All right, guys, in fourth place is Dennis Wolf. Man, I'm gonna be honest with you, man, at this point, I am very close in saying that Dennis Wolf should have won the Mr. Olympia. I know, I know, I know, I know, all right? I'm just saying a big part of me, man, wants to say that he should have won. Look at this pose. He looks like Mr. Olympia right here. He's got a granite, grainy, thick, thick, physique just like Dorian Yates. He carries, listen, here, I want you to hear me out, man. Listen, this is, this is, this is important, okay? He carries more muscle than anybody. And on top of carrying more muscle than anybody, he had the single most best conditioning in the entire contest. He was way more conditioned than Kai, way more conditioned than Phil Heath, way more conditioned than Rami, every, definitely Sean Roden. I can tell you, I have no clue why they placed Sean Roden higher than Dennis Wolf. Actually, like a week later in Europe, they placed Dennis Wolf higher than Sean Roden. I don't know, because this man looks like Mr. Olympia to me. He's huge, shredded, he's even aesthetic, but I'm sure you're gonna, you probably already put this in the comments as I'm speaking. What's that one glaring thing that Dennis does not have? Go ahead. Calves. You feel better? That's right. He, he he's lacks calves, man. But talk about some high calves. The higher your calves are from what I've seen, the harder they are to build. He's just got such high calves. But this most muscular shot is sick. It's disgusting. Let's move on. Look, to be this friggin' big and still be this dry and dialed in and full with a tight waist is crazy. It's crazy. His conditioning, uh, the waist, it, his waist looks more shrunken than Dexter's waist, all right? And Dexter's way smaller. Huge legs, deep separation. Dennis Wolf literally wrote the book, penned the book, man, and autographed it on outer thigh sweep. Just ridiculous. Next pose. Now you can see again, look at how high his calves are. Look where his gastrox are. They, uh, poor guy. I and mean, they just sit so high. His delt, his delts and arms look like two Two totally different entities. Now you got Branch Warren, he's huge, he's got big arms, but you don't see that distinction between those two muscle groups. That's not the case here, look at that. I mean, there's just, his delts are so round and apart from his arms. Definitely, I'm gonna back this up and say this shot totally confirms how grainy and diesel and dense his physique is. Okay, man, let's go into another shot with Dennis here. Right here, my Professional opinion, unprofessional, professional, official, non-official opinion is Dennis Wolf has the best quads in the entire show. I didn't say legs, because that would include calves. But listen, hey, 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 enough of that. Look, his quads are the best in the show. Look how separated his quads are. There's almost a foot of space between his teardrops and his outer quads, which are almost the same size. The, no one in the whole show has separation like this man. Check this out. His feet are literally about three feet apart and his adductors are still smashed together. His sartorius muscle, which is you can see up through the top, goes all the way down like a straight line. It's even highly, highly visible from this shot. No one has got legs like this man. Nobody, nobody, not even your boy Rami. I will, definitely not your boy Rami. His legs are huge, but no one has got that separation that takes hard work to get that look. Now, you can see he's got a lagging right bicep. There's not, to be honest with you, there's not a whole lot of bicep peak at all. Okay, there's not a lot of bicep peak. But his lats are wide, they're super flared out. Just some calves, big dog, them calves, man. All right, look, next pose, check this mass out. Check out how massive he is. Shoulders are huge. Dennis Wolf is known for these big shoulders. You can still see that lagging right bicep if you take a look. And actually, man, to be honest with you, not to overly analyze his physique, which, you know, I'm trying not to overanalyze every dang detail, but you kind of have to. Check this out. His lats, I will say themselves, the lats themselves need to just be a little bit 
thicker. Look right here, look at this next pose. See, check this out, look. The lats aren't very thick compared to his traps and rhomboids. It's like uh, the center of his back is so much thicker than the outside of his back, okay? The outside portions of the latimus dorsal part. Last pose here, 100%, 100% looks like first place Mr. Olympia right here. Talk about, my man, talk about dry, crisp, lean. He dominates everybody with this pose. He dominates even Phil and Kai in this pose. There's not one cell or gram or molecule of fat on his abs. Everything pops out actually with full round muscle bellies. To have this much mass and to pull this pose off like this screams to me, first place, Mr. Olympia. Obviously you can see in Dennis's face, he's not too happy. That's the face you make when you're mad as heck. I right, checked this next one out. See this, see this face? This is the, see those lips? This is the kiss my butt judges face. Next, this is the I'm going to kill them face. And lastly here, you're going to see, hmm, maybe I should go back and kill them face. All right, guys, we're getting closer. Third place, Mr. Sean Flexitron wrote in. Sean is another cool dude. I had the privilege of hanging out with this guy for hours and hours at our booth. Super chill, funny guy. You can actually check our video out we did. Anyway, as much as this man, I like him, okay? <sighs> There's no way he should have beat Dennis Wolf. No way. Actually, Sean here is gonna help usher in a big part of my recap on why I think Dennis should have placed higher and why you're seeing the types of physiques that you see in the Mr. Olympia. All right, keep in mind, Dennis did be beat Sean one week later in a European show. Now, Sean, if you look at this picture, Sean is very aesthetic, very well proportioned, balanced. Balance is a perfect word for this man. Very balanced, he's massive, and he's symmetrical. However, he is a great example of a modern day Mr. Olympia contender. This is the type of athlete that you are seeing in Mr. Olympia, minus a couple guys like Dennis Wolf. You're, you're not seeing any cross striations anymore. You're not seeing any granite, dense, hard physiques anymore. What you're seeing is a physique like Sean's and a physique like Phil Heath's. It's just muscles that just look to me like they're just filled up. They've just been filled up because of tons of insulin and carbs. Full, okay? Remember I kept telling you about that word full? This is a good example. Homeboy is full and he's round. This, when you do this, this technique that they're using these days with these bodybuilders with the insulin, the carbs and the water, eating all these carbs, you're gonna get this look. You're gonna get very round, almost, almost bloated like looking muscles. Um, when I look at Sean Roden, I don't see Mr. Olympia. I don't see a physique like Dennis Wolf's. I don't see a dense, mature physique. I see a very round physique that responds extraordinarily well to carbs and insulin Again, just like Phil Heath. Don't get me wrong, Sean has an insanely classy physique. It reminds me of Flex Wheeler, but I surely do not think he beat Dennis, who out-muscled him and out-conditioned him. This is Sean Roden's best pose. Round and peaked biceps. I love how calm he looks when he poses. He looks like he's not even straining, just totally chilling. He's got a long torso with a tight waist, super classy shot. Again, reminds me of an old school, Flex Wheeler, obviously with a lot more muscle. He looks like he definitely added some more muscle on his frame compared to last year. You can actually see this very well in his legs. His legs did get bigger, but to me, his legs just like, they just look like big slabs of muscle. Nothing's like real separated. Nothing's real dry looking to me. Next shot, nothing too, too dramatic here. Nothing that I see that's gonna be taken down Phil Heath or Kai with this shot. All right, next shot, good back shot. Very good back shot. The lats themselves look bigger and thicker than Dennis Wolf. Very symmetrical, decent looking calves. I am going to give this round, this pose to Sean. He beat Dennis in this pose. Next one, check this out. Now his legs look super huge from the rear. Super huge from the rear. But his erectors, if you look at his lower back, his erectors, you can tell he just isn't as conditioned as he should be. Not as conditioned as last year, I will even say. Lower back, it just isn't tight. It isn't dry, it's not sharp. Next pose, this is his second best shot. This man is blessed with an eight pack. Don't you wish you had an eight pack? I know I wish I had an eight pack, man. Dang, eight pack, come on. Tight waist, as 
shredded muscle with an eight pack is a big plus in Mr. Olympia. I've seen a lot of guys come in bigger, but that gut came right along with it. He came in bigger and was still able to maintain that awesome overhead abdominal shot. Tons of leg muscle. I think he's got the size to be Mr. Olympia. He does. He's got the size to be Mr. Olympia. He's got the shape to be Mr. Olympia. But as for now, there's no way he's taking down Phil or Kai unless one of them retires and drops off.